Hey everyone, just finished packing my two backpacks for my trip tomorrow and uh, I'm really excited because I'm gonna go from Tokyo to Kaiserslautern in Germany and uh, actually most of the way I will be going by train. So um, in total it's 12 kilo 12 <laughs> 12,000 kilometers on the train. I will be on the road for several weeks, I guess it's about three. And uh, yeah, let me show you the route of my trip and uh, the stops that I'm gon gonna make. So I will start, um, yeah, so the first part will be a plane ride from Tokyo to Vladivostok. I wanted to take the ferry from Totori area through South Korea, but that has been decommissioned. There would have been other options through China, but I didn't want to take that one. So then from Vladivostok, I will continue all the way by train. The first part will take about three days to Irkutsk. Irkutsk is close to the Baikal Lake and I plan staying there to, to explore it a little bit. I've been there in the summer already, so I'm curious how it will look like in the winter. After that, it will be two more days and there are like um, many smaller places the transit stops. But I am not planning to get out of the train there. But usually it's like interesting to see like the cities. Um, a new stop for me is Yekaterinburg. I will also stay another two days there and explore like the area a little bit and it's like in the middle so it's like um, on the one side is Asia and on the other side is Europe and then this is the last part of the Trans-Siberian Railway I will go to Moscow and spend one day there yeah so how do we go on the next part from uh, Moscow uh, will again be a night train. I will go to Ukraine, to Kiev. There would have been like other options like going to Latvia, but th then there won't be any trains and I could have... Yeah, so I think Ukraine is a nice option. Um, oh, also most of the people go through um, Minsk and Poland, um, but there has been some visa travel sometimes. And I was like kind of curious to go to Ukraine. So yeah, so I will stay in Kiev for a few days. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do then. Then I will take a night train to Lviv. Um, uh, but there will like um, arrive in the morning and then in the evening I will continue by again overnight train to uh, Krakow. Tell me how to pronounce that in English, like the proper one. And then from um, uh, Krakow German is Krakow. I go to Bratislava again by night train. I could have gone through um, Prague to um, Czechia, but then from Prague to um, to Frankfurt, the overnight train has been decommissioned. Yeah, thanks Deutsche Bahn. So yeah, so I'm going down to Bratislava, and then it's just uh, one hour left to uh, Vienna. As a ticket I'm gonna uh, buy on the spot and then the final part, uh, like one of the final parts, will be from um, Vienna overnight to Frankfurt and this is where the map ends but then actually from Frankfurt I will buy like another train ticket on the spot to go to Kaiserslautern. Uh, so yeah, this is... Um, uh, but yeah, I'm also like from the south. I actually put it in the video. We, they recorded it before. So yeah, this is um, the entire route. Total about 12,000 kilometers by train. I'm really excited about it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So... Uh yeah, you've seen that there was this um, one part by airplane, so I'm taking a plane from Tokyo to Vladivostok. Um, I put a lot of thought into this, and there used to be a ferry, as I said, but it has been decommissioned. 
So you cannot go from Japan to Vladivostok, at least not right now. But there also are ferries to China, but yeah, considering this uh, coronavirus situation, I decided against going to China. So I could have, you know, taken the ferry to China and then taking the, um, the train to, through Mongolia and then would end, have ended up in Russia or going through Kazakhstan. But, you know, I thought it's like better not going to China in this kind of virusy situation and in case you want to follow my trip. I will be using the hashtags to Japan to Germany and Alice uh, travels and of course if you want to see like pictures of my little owl Merlin travel it's like you can use the hashtag traveling Merlin and yes you can hear the road behind me it's super late so it's 22 1 a.m. Um, but it's like um, like a highway and yeah I really like this apartment, I really like this place, do not like the location considering the street. And I yeah, would be happy if you follow my trip. If you have um, any cool recommendations what I can do, um, let me know. I've, been, I've seen part of it, like, I've seen, uh, so I've been to many places, but like, um, so I took the Trans-Siberian Railway the other way around eight years ago. But like the um, the uh, so the uh, so from Irkutsk I went down to Mongolia so the the kind of piece between um, Irkutsk and Vladivostok is totally new to me and yeah I I just cannot express um, how really excited I am and yeah twelve thousand kilometers by train. Um, yeah, basically sleeping in trains for almost three weeks with some tiny little stops within between, as always. Don't panic. <laughs>